For Earth Day 2015, we asked a handful of IFPRI researchers one question. What is one key thing we can do to protect the Earth and ensure food security? It's a very good question. I've been losing my sleep. It's not an easy uh, question, and there's, I, th I, think, I don't think there's an easy answer to it. So I asked that question to my daughter, Isabella, age 11. And she answered uh, very simply that um, it will take that everybody um, does the right thing and everybody works in collaboration. I think the most important next step if we really want to find a sustainable solution is to make sure men and women are equal partners in both finding a solution and in making it work. Uh, we seem to be very well equipped to uh, react you know, to the rustle in the bush, the immediate danger but not so much to very slowly evolving threats that could you know, still pose great risk to us in the end. It is imperative for us to adopt practices that can help us preserve this special resource that our life depends on. I would focus on the issues I work mostly uh, on. They are insect-based ecosystem services provided at the landscape scale, and they're hugely important for food security. Because it's the year of the soils, I thought I would pick soil health as the most important theme. We need to provide incentives so that farmers are rewarded for those other values that investments in long-term soil health provide. And we reward them for keeping uh, a healthy stewardship of the soils for future generations. Protecting the earth is really about protecting the environment and putting a proper value on environmental quality and that's a lot of times missing from our policies. So it's really up to us to urge our policymakers, our representatives to account for that. Well I think we have a lot of good ideas and good science out there but we have some trouble getting it to the ground, getting it to the people um, that really need that, that technology and that's poor farmers especially but also poor consumers around the world. That technology is available now to sustainably produce and feed the population on Earth. Actionable step would be taking this technology to the doorsteps of the people and societies where they are not available yet. And that's where you need the political commitment and leadership. I think getting a handle on, on managing the issue between people who have a lot of resources and people who don't have resources and managing some of these inequalities will be very important in helping to manage the Earth more sustainably. Why should we care about protecting Earth? You didn't announce that question, like, it's, it's, I have to go from one topic to the other. I think it's evident, like, I would want my children to be able to live in a world and their children and the next generation. I think it's our responsibility. It's the only one we've got. <laughs> um, and, you know, yeah, it's the only one we've got and, and we depend on it so much. So it's, it's up to us to make sure that the future generations um, have the same opportunities as we have until we can move to a different planet and, uh, and uh, terraform uh, another planet. I think we have to deal with the one that we have here and so we have to protect it. So the biggest thing is the awareness in this human race that this mother earth has to live forever. And once that awareness comes at the top level of leadership, I think that will be the beginning of how we take care of earth sustainably. This is important for the riches as well as for the poor.